How good trainer was in your corner, wasn't he? Yeah, certainly was my last world title fight. Good boxing man. Interesting one, this, for the Commonwealth nine stone four belt. Remember the long black and pink trunks of the tattooed Ricky Burns with the silver boots and the white boots and the multicolors of Yakubu Amidu. Calls himself the Black Mamba. It was Roger Mayweather's name, wasn't it? Yeah. Not quite as good as Roger Mayweather. <laughs> but you can hope. Let's take just a bit loose on the uh, right hand of Ricky Burns, but he digs the left hook to the body. That's what they wanted in the corner. Yeah, that was good. That was a solid little little left jab and then switch to the, a left hook to the, the body. He's the queen. Keep switching his punches, head and body. Keep Amidu busy with punches like that. Just shook his right hand there, Ricky Burns. I don't think there's any damage. No knockdown call by Ian John Lewis. A bundle. Still pressing forward, Amidu. Trying to flow with the hooks. It's an erratic style that he possesses. You've probably got a question the level of opposition if he's uh, stopped 16 in his 16 wins. Yeah, I think, you know, the record is against names that we don't really know, and I think he's had some easy ones along the way. Shoves out the jab there. It's not textbook stuff. That was a little low. Told to keep them up by Ian John Lewis. Yes, Amidu getting a bit wild, isn't he? A bit frustrated. He's hitting the gloves. So he's trying to punch low and it's all a little bit unorthodox. Burns matching him for strength and pace and outclassing him with skills at the moment. But a long way to go. Doing slightly more in this round. Amidu just went to sleep a little bit. Burns not getting any sharp counters on. That was better with the, the left two. But he's been quiet in this one. Yeah, his stamina and engine may be questioned tonight. That was a good left hook to the body from Burns. Throwing the punches well. With authority. Back comes Amidu with a combination of his own. And this a closer round. Probably the best yet for the Ghanaian. Just a bit of swelling on the right eye of Yakibu Amidu. The only thing that's gone wrong, really, for Ricky Burns so far is the small cut on his right eye. Happened from a head clash in the opener, but they've done well. The corner work has been good, and he has not panicked. In fact, he's boxed well so far. Yes, he has boxed well. Just needs to settle down a little bit. Didn't do a great deal in that round. He needs to get his jab on and then wait for a counter as Amidu just lunges in. Good shot, Ricky, says Billy Nelson, who was formerly with Scott Harrison during those world title days. Now Ricky Burns would love a shot at the uh, world super featherweight belt. WBO might be a possibility. Nicky Cook to defend against Stephen Foster Jr. in three weeks' time. And uh, I guess Burns will want a, uh, a crack at that in the new year, maybe. Well, he's got to get through this one first. And... This is not a foregone conclusion. We do. Probably won the last looking stronger. Starting the land with decent punches again. Burns looking to hold. Yeah. That not a good sign. Errol Johnson, Carl Greaves waving Amidu forward. Could he just be too stubborn and too tough and too much down the stretch? Well, I said early on, I think. Ricky Burns is going to have to be very mentally tough in this fight. He needs to keep to his game plan, keep busy, try and beat Amidu to the punch. Good right hand to the body went in from Amidu. 
Jesus. And if the rumours of Burns' struggle to make the nine stone four limit are correct, well, the last few rounds could be hard work for the Coatbridge man. It's just the sort of fight that everything's gone well, but has he, you know, just done a bit too much in the in the first half? Could things come back to haunt him? Well, I think he just has to keep strong and keep to his, his game plan. He needs to start using the jab again. You know, he's just waiting for Amidu to do his thing and make it rough and rugged, and he needs to use his sharp boxing, use that jab, whip in some body shots. He and John Lewis, who's travelled a long way from the south of England, the referee this, hasn't had to do that much. It's flowed in an interesting way. Not all clean shots. I mean, you'd probably say Ricky Burns is going to win this, but <laughs> there's always the danger. Well, there's still a long way to go, isn't there? who's growing in confidence, looks the stronger of the two at this point. There might be a couple of rounds there in a row to Amidu. Get your arms in your left. Come on. They're just rugged work, but it's stopping Ricky Burns from getting his jab going. He's looking to hold. He's looking at his corner. Is there a little bit of distress coming in the Burns camp? has landed more to head and body, but I'm sure those statistics are closing. Keep it tidy, Dean Powell saying. I mean, he's just blowing a bit himself. It's different in the ring to sparring. Two down on your card, the African, but closing. Yeah, burns a good start, but letting it slip a little bit now. Come on, get pace up, come on.